Hey everyone, today I have a little haul um, from my last couple days of shopping and a little store walkthrough. I did participate with in the 40% off store-wide sale. So let's see what I found in the store. First things first, I got the Gingham Gorgeous Candle. I love the peony blooms on it, the leaves and the strawberries. I think it's it's named very appropriately. It is a gorgeous candle. The first note I pick up would be the strawberries. So the fruity note followed by the floral note, which is the peonies. So actually this is not from the 40% off candle sale. I actually returned my second PB&J ice cream candle because I am not a fan of this candle. Um, so I turned it into, exchanged it to the Gingham Gorgeous, which is a lot nicer. All right, second item. I got the blue faceted glass pedestal. The first round of glass pedestals, faceted pedestals would be the ombre ones. So this is the purple and the blue. And now we have the almost kind of diamond cut glass faceted pedestal. So on top, you see the diamond cut on the glass. And on the bottom, you have the vertical lines. I think this is really nice. It's slightly heavier than the ombre candle holder. I think I prefer this one. I love the diamond cut. This one is nice because it has the ombre effect, but I think I'm going to say I prefer this one, although it's it's really hard to say. I kind of wish they went with the horizontal lens on the bottom, but it's kind of nice that's vertical because it draws your eyes upward to the diamond cut of the glass. So this is a really beautiful piece. After the 40% off, this was $20, which was not terrible. All right, and the third thing that I got is I got the pink glass uh, faceted pedestal with the diamond cut. The pink one is my favorite. I did see the green and the blue and the purple, so I saw all four of them, but the pink is my favorite. And here's the comparison between the pink diamond cut and the ombre. Now for this, I, I love this when I first saw it, but now seeing the diamond cut, I prefer the diamond cut glass pedestal, even though they're both beautiful. So here are the two together. And I have one more thing that I bought. It comes in this, it came in this bag. You can kind of see it poking out. Now, I don't think this is even online yet. I looked for it, but so I guess it's super brand new. I got the Bath and Body Works, obviously. Um, little tote thingy drawstring bag. I'm not sure the what the intention of this bag is, but I'm going to assume you can use it for cosmetics or just, I don't know, a bag you can throw inside a bag, like a duffel bag. But it is a, it's a light purple violet color with blue drawstring faux leather. It looks like periwinkle blue. I think the violet with the periwinkle blue is a gorgeous combination. And this tote bag is, or this drawstring bag is, it is $4.95. Not a bad price for a little bag like this. You can probably fit, let's see what fits. First, I'll show you the interior. It's that kind of, I guess, lavender felt color or lavender felt interior. So if you're traveling, you can put your, if you really want to go ham uh, with the fine fragrance mist, you can put the fine fragrance mist in there. If you really need a lot of moisturizing body wash on your trip, you can put that in there. And if you need tons of hand cream or body cream, you can put that in there. And if body cream is not enough, you can put your full size body lotion in there. It all fits with room to spare. And you can kind of cinch it closed. It won't close all the way, but for a bag that you might toss into a duffel bag, I think that's a good fit. It holds a lot. And for $4.95, I think that's a great price. That's a cute match. Or you can even put a long strap and connect it right over here, right over there on both sides, and you can wear it as a crossbody. I think that's possible. So here is a little bag. I don't know the name of this bag. It's, yeah, I have no clue, but it's a nice, cute little toiletry, maybe drawstring bag that you can use for traveling or for every day. 
All right, and now we are outside looking at the pedestal. I want to see how the sunlight would hit the diamond cut pattern on the glass. And I have my raspberries and whipped vanilla candle on here. It's beautiful. And also the Among the Clouds candle. Any, any of these candles that I'm showing, they look great. Any kind of pink, if the candle has any pink on it, it'll look beautiful. Just the way they cut that glass is gorgeous. And the way the sunlight hits it, it's it's really beautifully done. I'm really happy they came out with these candle pedestals. And now we have Gingham Gorgeous. It looks incredible on this candle pedestal. I think this one looks the absolute best as of right now from all my candles. This one, it's pretty much made for this candle holder. And I guess they kind of uh, came out with these candle pedestals with the release of the new Gingham line, I guess. And so we have my blue candle pedestal with the Frozen Lake candle that we got from last Christmas. These two look really good together. They were made for each other. Okay, so here's my little Gingham Gorgeous collection. We have the full-size perfume, the mini body cream, the moisturizing body wash, the three-way candle, and the glass pedestal. I love it. It's cohesive. It's a beautiful line. And the packaging is spot on. And here is a little collection of purple. We're going to pretend that this blue glass pedestal is the purple one. The perfumes, the fine fragrance mist, lotion, and a little drawstring bag. So my little vibrant collection. And speaking of the purple pedestal, here we have the purple one that I saw in store a couple days ago. I don't think I'm going to get this one because I'm trying not to hoard all the candle holders. I prefer the pink and the blue ones, so I will leave this purple one in the store. But here we have it sitting with the other two ombre candle pedestals. And I'm putting some various candles on top of it just to see how they look with the purple and I think they all look great but I couldn't find that one candle that looked perfect with it um here's the drawstring bag I think for five dollars it is a great deal throw whatever you want in there or carry it around town yeah I really like I really like this bag so here's a quick rundown of what I got recently of course it's pretty much the new gingham line fresh vibrant and gorgeous and my two glass pedestals even though the blue one doesn't correspond with vibrant as well as the purple pedestal but we will make do and of course the drawstring bag but i think it looks prettier with this shot all right and now we are traveling to santorini we have the new candles in store riviera petals I don't think I'll be getting any of these candles because none of them really smell super amazing. We're going to Capri, to Italy. Um, yeah, none of these smelled really amazing to my nose, but they all, they're all they all cute. I will give them that. So we have Palo Santo Vanilla and Paradise Cove. And the next candle that we're going to see is uh, Salted Grapefruit Shore. This one kind of smells like Sugar prom pomegranate, I think. Warm ocean breeze. Turquoise waters. But if I were to get one candle, it might be fresh Amalfi lemon. It's a strong lemon scent, but I think that one was uh, my favorite. So we have reached the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all the pedestals. And I will see you in my next one. Hope you have a great day or night. And talk to you later. Bye.